Students at several Pike Township schools have another remote learning day. That is because of teacher absences. This has happened multiple times this semester, as we have reported. And now parents are putting more pressure on district leadership tonight to resolve these negotiations with the teachers. A member of the Pike Equity Council has now resigned from her position because of these ongoing negotiations. Box 59's Eric Graves has been watching this story very closely. He's in the studio right now. So Eric, why did this council member actually step down? What are we finding out? Fanchon, this Pike Township parent and member of the Pike Equity Council says she's stepping down because she doesn't see the equity they talk about being backed up in these teacher negotiations. This coming as today, four schools went remote learning in Pike Township because of more than 100 staff members calling out. We need to be first and foremost investing in our teachers, otherwise our, our equity goals have no chance. Deb Dunlevy is now a former member of the Pike Equity Council. Dunlevy said she could not continue going to meetings where they talk about equity the Nazi school leadership back it up in teacher contract negotiations. It's very hard not to feel hypocritical, right? To sit and talk about equity in our district, knowing that we have these employees who are underpaid. Dunleavy says she doesn't know every detail of the contract negotiations going on, but has talked to several teachers she says are more informed. They just feel disrespected. She says this is leading to more teachers resigning and looking for jobs elsewhere. And I have personally known several who have already left. The same goes for Jennifer Rubenstein, a concerned parent who says she recently had a teacher text her saying she was resigning after more than a decade at Pike to take a higher paying teacher job elsewhere. And that is really a shame and she's she's a wonderful teacher. This week Rubenstein says she submitted a list of concerns to the school board and other state and city leaders highlighting issues she says Pike Township employees have told her about within the district. There seems to be a much deeper ravine than just the teacher pay. It's also about equity, it's about respect, it's about dignity. Rubenstein and Dunleavy both say something needs to be done. We are demanding change. We're no longer asking politely. We're demanding change. For now, the contract negotiations between the school and the teachers union are in limbo as they wait for a mediator from the state. In response to our story, Pike Township sent a statement saying it's disheartening to lose a member of the Equity Council and that they are committed to working toward a fair and responsible resolution. They've also negotiated raises for bus drivers that will go before the board next month. We have details on that plan on our website. In the studio, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News. All right.